Hello YouTube, Mozilla here. Today I am smoking my Jake Hacker Cobb, and in it I've got some Sutliff Virginia slices from 2016, I believe July. I remember doing a, a video from my old apartment, which probably would have been three years ago, maybe, maybe four. So that stuff might have had a little bit of age on it at that time, maybe a year, year and a half. I'm fairly certain I bought the same batch. Um, I'd have to go back and watch that video again. Because I think I did a box opening on it. The one before. Can't say for sure it's gotten better with age. Um, days like today. Perfect smoke. I'd always go back and forth on what well, you want to smoke in the in the summertime, and I guess I've never really been one of those people that say you can't smoke in English in summer and you can't smoke in Virginia in the winter. Uh, But I think the refreshingness of a Virginia tobacco was certainly nice, nicer in the summertime. Um, the only thing is, of course, it's hotter and it's, you know, got humidity. So I think that kind of plays a role into sometimes how the Virginia smokes. I try to tend to keep mine a little bit drier in the summertime around here. Um, because the humidity usually is pretty high around here, and uh, you know when you when you smoke the tobacco will pick up some of that moisture you're drawing through it. So I was a little bit worried with this because I did not let that dry. Like I said, uh, just cracked it open today um, to give it another shot. Been smoking a lot of the uh, open tins um, that I've had, you know, opened up and laying around, and uh, stuff I had from my dad that was opened up. Um, so I was trying to, you know, get through that stuff and try different things out. And every week I'll try to get six or seven blends lined up. You know, make sure the moisture content's good on it, and then kind of go through that for the week and decide whether I want to, you know, keep it or put it back and try it again later or whatever the case is. He had a, uh, Dad had a lot of English blends that he was he was working on. Um, so, of course, like I said, not that I won't smoke in English, but I try to stay away from a little bit in the summertime. Just because I don't think they, for me, they don't, this almost seems like it makes it hotter or something, I don't know. So, um, but yeah, uh, Joe, uh, Bean Home Joe, put his uh, video up today of the, his uh, giveaway box opening, so I'm glad that made it there. Uh, a little upset about the tamper, um, but uh, I know he had uh, Dad had cut those apart, I'm pretty sure, to put the skulls on them and kind of attached him back at the skull and, and it probably just was something he wasn't finished with 
you know, bonding it together and it probably had a weak spot in it. Like I said, I didn't, I didn't know exactly what his thoughts were on them or what left he had to do with them. So, uh, I was a little bit worried about packing, um, so I had to, uh, usually I don't, I don't ship things out very much. Um, usually when I do, I, I'll do something for work and it'll be like with UPS, um, and I'll box it out and bring it there. But with, um, with the mail, I haven't done a whole lot. Uh, so I went there a couple times. Um, after work, I've, I've tried to get in there, um, on some of our short days. And it seems like they only ever have the small priority boxes. So I kept going back and checking, and uh, sure enough, they don't have any boxes yet. So I go up to the counter and I said, you know, hey, I'd like to get some large boxes. How can I do that? It seems like whenever I come here, they're never they're never here. And the gal tells me, well, you can you can go ahead and order them online, and they don't cost you anything. Just go ahead and uh, go to the mail and put how many you want, and then put your address in there. And I said, well, I said I didn't realize you had to pay for the boxes. I said that makes sense now why you don't why you guys don't have any boxes. So uh, I don't know if it's always like that or what the case is, but I would have thought for sure you couldn't just ship 20 boxes to your house and say, yep, here's my boxes. But maybe. So anyway, I got the large, and then when I got here, I kind of looked at them like, well, I don't think this is going to work. But I kind of finagled some stuff and put some things in I wanted to send I wanted to send some more bulk tobacco out but I just couldn't fit any more in there uh, without crunching things together pretty much had to use the tobacco as padding because there wasn't much room in there but glad it made their safe for the most part and uh, Happy to see he was he was liking it, so that made my day today. Um, but yeah, other than that, like I said, just trying to stick, uh, keep busy and keep the yard up, and you know, playing with the kids while I can when it's when it's nice out. When it gets cold, I don't. I don't typically like being out in the cold so much anymore. He used to be I didn't really really didn't bother me. I did a lot of a lot of snow removal when I was younger and the you know, out out in the winter cold and then I'd pretty much the same people I used to do snow for, I'd I'd mow their yards in the summertime. But anymore I can stand the heat alright, but uh going out in the cold I can handle it, but I sure don't enjoy smoking out the cold, that's for sure. I told my wife I need to build myself a little smoke shot shack here out inside the yard. In winter time I have somewhere I can go. We have an old an old garage that was built in like nineteen oh five, so it's I mean, it's in pretty good shape considering how old it is, but it's definitely uh, not warm. So, uh, but like I said, I don't have too much else going on. I'm going to keep rambling on, so I will catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll catch you next time.